myself professor d s r professor department of civil engineering bbda itm lucknow the course i will discuss here kce 076 urban transportation planning today we will discuss lecture 7 in which we will discuss freight transport references as usual i have taken chakravarti partha and das animesh principal of transportation engineering papa costa cs and pre don ras pd transportation engineering and planning uh, kadiyali lr and lal nb principal and practice of highway engineering naptel and some material have been taken from the internet the content today we will cover a definition freight transport mode of transport shipping ocean and barge transportation railways airways transport model consolidating freight intermodal free on board carriage and freight guaranteed service refunds car insurance and freight negative impact sustainable transportation <coughs> definition of a freight transport is a freight transport son is a primary component of all supply chain and logistic system the cost of moving commodities between cities and the country is more not only by the direct stakeholder means shippers carriers and consignees but other member of society who have may not benefit directly from those movement freight transport is a physical process of transporting commodities and mechanized good and cargo the term shipping originally referred to transport by sea but in american english it has been extended to refer to transport by land and air are also taken as a shipping logistic a term borrowed from the military environment is also used in same sense it is desirable to internalized all cost of transportation first because of demand and supply equilibrium will occur at more sustainable level second because providers are more likely to be more responsible for their decision and customers will use the service more efficiently it is also important for the government to know to what extent a stakeholder covers the cost when designing taxation and regulation have policy three general policies for transportation good by the vehicles first is quantity policy according to which the maximum capacity of a vehicle should be used by carrying the maximum number of freight quantity this is the first principle the second the time policy according to which the time of delivery is the most important factor and should not exceed a pre planned time limits the third principle is quantity and time policy both according to which both capacity and time are a critical factor so a vehicle is sent either when the delivery time limit arrive or when 
the freight quantity reaches to its maximum uh, bound. The mode of freight transports as the passenger transports are same mode of transport the first is ground that include road, rail etcetera. Ship transportation through sea, ocean etcetera. Air transportation of freight through airways and intermodals is the combination of above three. The second is term of shipment and third is door to door shipping. Land or ground shipping can be made by train or by truck. In air and ship, sea shipment, ground transport is required to take cargo from its place of origin and to the airport or seaport and then its destination because it is not always possible to establish a production facility near the port due to the limited cost lines of country. The ground transport is typically more affordable than air, it is a cheaper, but more expensive than sea. Sea has a very less expensive as far as freight uh, transport is concerned, where air is the most costliest mode of transportation, especially in the developing country where inland infrastructure may not be efficient. Come to the shipping. Shipping of cargo by truck directly from the shipping shipper's place to the destination is known as door to door shipment or more formally as a multi modal transport. We will discuss door to door transport uh, after some times. The truck and train make deliveries to sea and airport where cargo is moved in bulk. Ocean and barge transportation, inland and intra coastal waterway are used worldwide for the passenger and freight transportation. Historically, all development have been had been carried out along the coastal area or where there is a uh, transportation by river or some other source of water. Uh, still, the advantage of barge transportation is the ability to transport considerable amount of cargo at relatively low cost. Uh, still, it is going on. To minimize environmental impact by shifting same cargo transportation from the road to waterway. These types of shifts are capable of transporting either LPG or ammonia or are leveled as refrigerated fully or semi refrigerated LPG carrier. Uh, this is the example for ammonia transportation barges in the range of 300 to 3000 ton larger or a smaller bars are fully refrigerated or semi refrigerated respectively can be used. And this is the case for many routes within the Europe and United States. Bars are divided into several components because once you are uh, loaded a liquid in the bar that will create disstability. Uh, so, make a stable bars are divided into several component in which one uh, or two components are filled with liquid and another with the solid. So, that will develop a stability in the barge. A advantage of carrying liquid cargo is it is relatively safe and easy. Much freight transport is done by ships 
and individual nation fleet and the people that the stew it are referred as its merchant navy or merchant marine the merchant shipping is the life blood of the world economy carrying 90% of international trade with 102194 commercial ships worldwide on river and canal barges are often used to carry bulk cargo now come to the railway it is a land transport railway is one common method of freight transport and this is a cost effective method especially for the carrying energy freight although this method has a less speed and somehow lower reliability it cost much less than other method thus making freight more comfortable affordable transport bulk carrier and heavier commodities such as coal chemicals and petroleum in large volume to more distance distant areas cargo is transported by air in the specialized cargo aircraft this is the airways air freight is typically fastest mode of transportation for long distance freight transport but it is also the most expensive the following table lists the estimated energy consumption and a carbon print depending on the distance travel and type of aircraft this is the transport model we can see here this is the shipping point a and this is the uh, terminal point b this is the direct or shuttle train will carry the uh, goods from point a to point b this is the receiver so this is the destination terminals the second is b is a origin of the main terminals a1 a2 these are a commodities this is the local origin terminals and uh, it direct or shuttle train will uh, send it to destination point b which is the destination main terminal after that the receiver will receive the goods the c is the origin aspect train terminals and the shuttle trains directly this is the hub terminal from where the goods are transported to the local destination terminals and then received uh, the receiver will receive so this is the transport model this is the next transport model this is the shippers are receiver shuttle are direct and origin or destination terminals and this is the shippers and the receivers here origin destination terminals and the freight cargo and goods flow this is the train you can see here both are changeable from here to here and this will this will go here to here means we can go around the whole destination and origin terminals and the receiver will receive here so this is the transport model now consolidating freight it is possible to take advantage of economic of scale in transportation by substituting large shipment for a small one consolidating freight is a way to cover these policies it means consolidation consolidating demands from a several points until a transportation vehicle is full means in in, in this condition you have to use the full capacity of the vehicle so the transport cost will be lesser 
this on the demand approach has a many benefits for carrying because the investment in the vehicle capacity is much lower than the customized approach as a result lower limit lower unit of transportation cost and high capacity are achieved this approach may however be quite undesirable for the customers with the time sensitive delivery requirement or who have high value of goods with a high associated inventory the carrier must have a accurate scheduling in order to plan their services and satisfy the expectation of the largest number of customers in the previous number or series of routes so they must be able to group several services in a schedule and indicate departure and arrival times for a stop along the route means most competitive uh, schedule should be there in this process to achieve this carriers carriers should adjust service related characteristics such as routes capacities types of vehicles and convey intermediate are stops and location of different customers origin and destination this has to achieve the carrier who use the this system in the best possible way are ensure that their transport services are perform in a rational efficient and profitable ways in this system carriers plan rules and policy that affect the whole system the consolidation of a small shipment can occur in three ways first a small shipment that must be transported over a long distance or even a <coughs> short one can be combined just as when a large shipment are transported over a long distance second several small shipments can be replaced by a single large shipment by using an adjustment adjusted forward or backward shipment schedule this is a temporal consolidation the third is when there are many pickup and the delivery points using a vehicle on a multi stop route can serve less than truck load that is ltl pickup and delivery is associated with a different location that is multi stop consolidation intermodal type of freight intermodal freight transport refer to shipments that involve more than one mode as i have told earlier more specifically it is usually referred to the use of intermodal shipping containers that are easily transfer between the ship rail planes and truck for example a shipper works together with both ground and air transport to ship an item overseas the now the different type of shipment now free on board this is one type of shipment the exporter delivers the goods at the specified location and on the board of the vessel cost paid by the exporter includes load less secure and asto the cargo including securing cargo not to more in the safe hold 
protecting the cargo from contact with the double bottom to prevent slipping and protection against the damage from transportation. Carriage and freight. The exporter is bound to deliver the goods at his own cost and expenses. In this case, freight and other expenses for outbound traffic are borne by the importer. The carriage and freight insurance is payable by the importer and the exporter play all expenses incurred in the transporting the cargo from its place of origin to the port, airport and the ocean freight, air freight to the port, airport of destination. Granted service refunds GSR. Many of the shipping carriers such as UPS, DHL, FE and EX offers guarantee on their delivery times. This is important. These are known as GSR guarantees or guaranteed service uh, refund. If the parcel are not delivered on the time, the customer is entitled to a refund. Uh, this system is now going on in uh, many uh, food shop. The carriage insurance and freight CIF. The carriage insurance and freight that is CIF insurance and freight are all paid by the exporter to the specified location. The term best way generally implies that a shipper will choose the carrier who offers the lowest rate. Such a better insurance or the faster transit time will cause the shipper to choose the choose an option other than the lowest bidder. Now door to door shipping, uh, we have discussed uh, slightly uh, uh, in early of this lecture. So door to door shipping is a service provided by many international shipping companies. The quoted price of this service includes all shipping, handling, import, custom duty making it a hassle free option for the customer to import goods from one jurisdiction to another. This is, a, this is com compared to the standard shipping, the price of which typically includes only the expenses incurred by the shipping company in transferring the object from one place to another. The custom fees, import taxes and other tariff may contribute substantially to the base price before the item ever arrives. Now impact factor, negative impact factor, this is also a very important today because we are going to protect the environment. So uh, the negative impact as now uh, created by the freight transport, we will discuss here, the external cost of act activities. The what are the external things? that are the air, noise, water pollution, vegetation and wild life destruction and road accident are some of the negative impact 
of the freight transportation. Negative impact have been as steadily increasing over the last few decades in most part of the world, increasing greenhouse gases GHS and global warming. warming. Now come to the sustainable transportation. Uh, this is our aim, this should be our aim for the sustainable transportation. A widely accepted definition of sustainable development is development that meet the needs of present without compromising the ability of the future generation to meet their own needs. So, here a strategy for sustainable transportation consider economic development, environmental preservation and social development, but the negative impact of the freight transportation increase achieving sustainability goes and becomes ever more challenging. In the recent year, greenness idea such as a green port, green transportation, green logistics have been discussed in the literature to emphasize the environmental and sustainability aspect of freight transport. The goal of green logistics is a planning freight logistic system that incorporates sustainability goes with a primary focus on the reduction of environmental extremities. So, thank you very much. Thank you.